Hey guys, it's Matt from Narrow Road Journeys, and I just wanted to take this opportunity to show you all about the Reese Goose Box. This thing's fantastic. It's literally made the difference for our towing capacity and how we ride. And if there's any product that made our life easier on the road, it's this. So here you go, enjoy. Feel free to comment, like our page, send me some questions, whatever you feel like doing. This is for you if you're interested in getting a fifth wheel. The uh, best way that we found is a dependable co-pilot to hook up the ball with the goose box. Uh, I do not have a camera for the bed of the truck right now. Um, even if I did, I'd imagine it'd be pretty difficult to slide that ball perfectly under place. That's the one complaint that I've seen a lot of people uh, put up is it's tough to hook up by yourself. I suppose you could do it, but you can't get it out of the way several times to, to take a peek. So I've got Leah here to, to help me back it in. To the right. Okay, bring it back. Stop. Park. Good. Once you lower the ball, you'll see the latch it gives a telltale sign that you are now on. We'll let it fully latch. Now it's accepting the weight of the rig. The truck is smart enough that it's gonna do its job to bolster the airbags and counteract that weight that's on the axles. One comment uh, we've gotten a couple times when hooking up in the RV park is people get nervous about me standing back here and guiding him in that I'll get like squashed. So. I just reassure people that we have a three and six year old and in no way would he do anything to be left alone with them. But just be careful when you're having um, the truck back up. Make sure you have a good hand signal for stop. But we've never had a problem even getting close. So just use your brain. Here's what we look like fully hooked up. Safety chains installed. There is the full safety brake. I'm not attach that but I've got a carabiner on it that I just usually attach to the bed of the truck um, that is another difficult thing with tight turns it will take that safety brake and pull the lever so if I know I'm gonna do tight turns while parking I will take that off the other cool thing is somewhat of a dependable measure for the eye uh, right here you can see that the lever is halfway through that circle that's about where we want to be my guess is that the airbag is reading around 35 to 45 psi um, simple test right there with an air pressure gauge would let me know uh, and that's where i'd fill a little bit if needed to be so now we're ready to unhitch the one thing that is kind of tough um, is it is again a smoother operation with two people. Leah is currently lifting the front of the RV off while I'm pulling the latch to make a smooth disconnect. As the pin comes off the ball. And good. And once we're there, we're ready to pull off and start making our home again once unhitched it's a super simple situation safety hooks swing out the ball comes out the bmw ball hitch system comes with a nice carry case everything fits perfectly it's fantastic when you're ready to install, it's a simple drop in to your puck system, hold it down, and 
I'm ready to tow again.